G'day. Lewis Hamilton to partner Charles Leclerc in 2025 at Ferrari? Where did that come from? <laughs> this is going to be huge if it's true. But can we trust the Spanish and Italian media? They're reporting that this is going to happen in 2025, a year from now. Who signs a contract in Formula One this far out and allows it to be leaked to the media? I've not heard of it in my time in the sport. You might have seen this Instagram story on Sky Sports. A respected broadcaster, Lewis Hamilton will join Ferrari for the 2025 season. Now that is a very bold statement. They must have some solid sources. But if it is true, what does that do to Lewis's campaign with Mercedes in 2024? After all, Lewis is a Mercedes devotee. He has loyalty tattooed on his arm. If he signed a deal with the Italian team for 2025 and has to drive at Mercedes this year, I can't see things being anything but nasty on his side of the garage. It's like telling your wife you're leaving her for another woman, but not for another 12 months. How would you expect a relationship to work in that 12 months? John Elkan, Ferrari's chairman, is, apart from a smart dresser, a big fan of Sir Lewis. Italian media are reporting that he's been negotiating a deal to get the seven-time world champion across to his team for some time. This would be huge for the Italian team. To be truthful, I'm gobsmacked, and I'm sure you are too. Who saw this coming? Of course, Charles is locked into a long-term contract with Ferrari, but Carlos's contract expires at the end of this year. Now, I can't help but think he'd have very little idea that this was coming. And to have a break so close to the start of the season will leave a very bad taste in his mouth. As it stands now, neither Lewis, Ferrari or Mercedes have commented on this. And of course, things would change in an instant, maybe even before I finished editing this video. So what of Carlos? He'll be dark that his seat is going to Lewis at the end of the season. He won't have his heart in the job and the team will be very careful what they share with him, particularly in the second half of the year, as he could well take that information to a competitor. And who is that competitor likely to be? Well, who knows? Could he end up at Alfa Romeo, replacing one of their two drivers in 25, ahead of the change to Audi? One thing's for sure, though, if it's confirmed that Lewis is going to get Carlos's seat, it will create a toxic environment of distrust. Of course, if this isn't true, Mercedes and Lewis will want to come out quickly and strongly deny it. A number of mainstream media are already saying that things are close to being finalised, perhaps by the end of this week. Staying silent won't cut it. So why would Lewis want to move? Perhaps he's seen the writing on the wall and Mercedes isn't on the right track. Perhaps the car's not looking like it could beat Red Bull, or is the team perhaps more focused on George? Only he'd know that. But to move to Ferrari, he'd need to be convinced that he had a better chance of winning his eighth world championship with them than he would have staying at Mercedes. Talking of George, what would he be thinking? I reckon he'd be elated. He's been in Lewis's shadow for two years now, and if Lewis goes in 12 months, George will be the top dog. That's how things work in this strange sport. And what would the Charles and Lewis show look like? Well, it would look nothing like this or this. And I can't see Lewis happily playing second fiddle to his younger teammate. So I think Charles would be well worried. Sure, he's got a long-term contract, but the threat of the team throwing their might behind the Brit will be a major distraction to the Monegasque. Of course, if this is just a rumour, one that is widely reported, more so than any other rumour I've ever seen in Formula One, right now, you can bet your bottom dollar there are some very high-level meetings going on at Mercedes headquarters in Brackley. I think it's blindsided them, along with pretty much all of us in the media. The fact that the Italian media are running with it suggests that the leak has come from Ferrari, but why? Yes, it would have a destabilising effect on Mercedes, but it would also cause friction between Ferrari and Carlos Sainz. Winning F1 races is hard enough without adding this sort of drama to the equation. I'm guessing Carlos has been blindsided by all of this, and with the season just a month away from starting, he'll be at the very least distracted and at worst, furious. Neither is a good state of mind to be in when you're starting an F1 season. Lewis has always said that he'd like to end his career at the Italian team, and certainly Ferrari has plenty to offer a driver like Lewis, and I'm sure that the negativity that would come from the Mercedes supporters, if it turns out he does leave, would be more than compensated by the love that he'd get from the Italian Tifosi. Could Lewis secure his eighth World Drivers' Championship in red? 
No one knows, but it's a delicious story, isn't it? And one that has two teams rubbing their hands with glee, Red Bull and McLaren. Their driver lineups are rock solid, allowing them to sit back and watch the drama play out down the paddock. They can simply concentrate on winning a title while Mercedes and Ferrari struggle in turmoil. And did this news have any effect on Ferrari's stock price? Yes, it was up nearly 6% at the time of recording. We haven't heard the last of this, and I think given the ferocity of those rumours and the reports that are coming out from various media sources, as much as I am surprised to say it, I think the move's on. Time will tell. If you've enjoyed this video, please hit the like button. And uh, for those of you who haven't subscribed, and probably that's about half of you watching, here's your chance. And once you've finished watching this video, click over here and have a look through a whole lot of other content. Thanks for watching and stay passionate.